along with the belly up and the arms straight. Good checkpoints here for this drill is that your pelvis is over your lead ankle and your shoulders are still tilted some amount to the right, roughly aiming right at the, the target line. Lack of distance, this is a huge frustration across all of golf and, and rightfully so. 20 extra yards with this club can be worth a stroke or two of score reduction. So there's a lot of reasons that you may not be hitting the ball as far as you want. One of the most common is your follow through form. When the, the shoulders are still bent forward, and your chest and your belly are still bent down towards the ground, the elbows flexed. This would be one of the slowest ways to swing the golf club and it would be really, really hard to hit the center of the club face every time. So let's head over to Tech Swing and take a look at that problem versus what we want. So here's a swing that I took as an example of the problem. And in the follow through, just looking at my shoulders and just where my entire upper body is pointed, it's pointed down towards the ground. And with our OptiMotion technology, we can actually measure in degrees just how my shoulders are bent forward or backwards. In this case, I'm bent forward with my shoulders seven degrees in that point in time. You'll see with the tour players how they're bent much more back at this point. But when I'm bent forward this way, that's gonna encourage me to flex my elbows more in the follow through. You can see visually just with the line that I drew on my right arm that the right arm is starting to flex. And even measuring the lead elbow flex, it's at 53 degrees right now. So that's gonna be a slower way to swing and it's gonna be a much more, that's the more complicated piece where it's harder to hit the center of the face all the time. Let's take a look over here at Rory on his side of the screen and you'll see just the exact opposite. So this would be the faster way to swing, the more predictable way to swing. So with his shoulders, uh, he's bending the shoulders back closer to our tour average of five degrees back at this point in the follow through. The chest is at the sky, the belly's at the sky. And if you look at his arms, they're both really, really straight at this point in time. So there's the speed and there's the predictability. So let's talk about how to practice this. If this is part of your problem over here, if you, if you are familiar with this side of the screen, Let's go back to the mat and talk about how you can solve that problem. So here's your starting point. This is called the belly up drill. What you'll do is you'll take your club and with straight arms, grab the club on the shaft and just stick the butt end of the golf club right in your navel. And then to start getting the feel of doing the follow through form similar to how Rory was doing it, in your follow through, you wanna point the, the shaft of the club up at the sky. So now your belly's up at the sky, your shoulders are, are bent backwards closer to that tour average form and the arms are still straight. So if you start to flex the elbows and start to pull the butt of the club off of your belly, then that's part of the problem. So you wanna have your arms straight and keep the butt into that club right there on your, on your belly. So a good starting point here, anytime you're trying to make a change to your form, is start with slower swings without a ball. They can be shorter swings as well, but just stopping your follow through and checking those same checkpoints. Along with the belly up and the arms straight, good checkpoints here for this drill is that your pelvis is over your lead ankle and your shoulders are still tilted some amount to the right, roughly aiming right at the, the target line. So as you start to get more comfortable doing that, you can add a ball, still doesn't have to be fast. But just stopping here in your follow through form at that same point, belly's up at the sky, arms are still straight. As you get better and better at it, measure those checkpoints, start to add some speed. Now, this will go a long way towards helping you with your distance. If you need help solving any problem with your golf game, go to golftech.com, find a coach near you.